we are now down to the last topic of the day. And I added it because it, it broke yesterday, and I figured I might as well talk about it. This is actually not a surprise to me at all, but Kevin Meyer has resigned from TikTok. And as this headline says, Kevin Meyer didn't sign up for whatever happens to TikTok. Um, so here's what happened. Tick, uh, Kevin Meyer was the guy who basically created Disney Plus when he worked at the Disney company. And he was one of the runner-ups to have the CEO position of the Disney company. Personally, I think had the pandemic not hit, he probably would have got the position. But because the pandemic hit, they went with Bob Chapek because Bob Chapek is a penny pincher. And that's going to be needed at the Disney company as they figure out what their new normal looks like going forward. But Kevin Mayer, probably feeling a little slighted, decided to sign up to become TikTok's American CEO. And this was, of course, um, ByteDance's attempt to show that TikTok was an American company. It wasn't a Chinese company that was working for the Communist Party, but they, but the code says otherwise. Well, because of uh, President Trump's executive order, which, uh, sorry, my nose is itching, says that TikTok has to sell by September or be blocked. And now Microsoft and Walmart are trying to buy it. Kevin Meyer kind of realized his time had an expiration date. So let's look at this. Kevin Meyer is out as TikTok CEO less than four months after taking the job. While his resignation comes in the middle of an ongoing political turmoil brought on by the Trump administration, his decision to leave likely has less to do with politics and more to do with his own autonomy as an acquisition looms. Now, he wrote uh, to his employees, I have done significant reflection on what the corporate structural changes will require and what it means for the global role I signed up for. Against this backdrop, and as we expect to reach a resolution very soon, it is with a heavy heart that I wanted to let you all know that I've decided to leave the company. Meyer became TikTok CEO June 1st, tasked with helping the company navigate choppy political waters in the United States as pressure began mounting to investigate the app due to its Chinese ownership. At the same time, he was also named, named Chief Operating Officer of ByteDance, TikTok's owner, giving him the executive reins of a global company. The offer was strong enough to convince Meyer to leave his cushy position as the head of Disney's DTCI, which is Direct to Consumer and International uh, Team, where he oversaw the launch of Disney+. Plus. It didn't hurt that just three months earlier, Mayer was passed over for CEO after Bob Iger stepped down, a position many in the industry thought he was a front runner for. Um, one Disney employee said he thought the grass was greener on their side, so he hopped the fence and landed in quicksand. Uh, reports suggest that Myers was not included in recent talks with two top TikTok suitors, Microsoft, now joined by Walmart and Oracle. That he was left out of the loop likely boded poorly for Mayer's future in what was supposed to be a broad and increasingly powerful role. When Mayer signed up for the job of TikTok's CEO May, he was coming into a company that, although controversial, was also flourishing. TikTok saw rapid growth between October 2019 and June 2020, with the company adding 52 million users in those eight months alone. Advertisers are flocking to the app, creators are building actual careers through their followings, and TikTok shows no signs of slowing down. Of course, that also was the case with mine. Now, we're not going to read the rest of the article because what it basically says is that, you know, he hey, he had no future there. Once there was an acquisition, he was probably going to, at the very least, get demoted. Um, at the worst, he was going to be let go. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to leave with my head held high. Uh, he did write that TikTok has a bright future. I don't think so because here's the thing. I It's funny that they mentioned advertisers because, you know... There was a company called Vine that Twitter owned that did the very same thing that TikTok did. People did short video formats. The problem is once things become popular and you start putting ads on it, people stop using it because they don't like ads. And I and yeah, there is an argument made that people are spoiled. Ads are what pay the bills. But people don't like ads and people who have this holier-than-thou thing, they were like, I will not use a service with ads. And then someone else, because they want to do it for kicks and giggles and the popularity points, will make a similar service that doesn't have ads, which people will flock to, and then that will get popular, that will be sold off, that will be popular with ads, and then the cycle continues. Uh, really, Facebook and Twitter are the only ones that seem to have avoided this curse. But many, many, many other companies have 
gone down the same rabbit hole. So I don't know what's going to happen to Kevin Meyer. He's probably going to wind up at a Disney competitor or something like that. I doubt he would go back to Disney. And Disney's looking to unload people anyway. It's a, it's a bad time to be unemployed, though. So anyway, that was just like a quick little update. The situation with TikTok continues to get more and more fascinating. But I would like to know, what do you think about the situation? Do you think he was right to leave? Or do you think, yeah, maybe he jumped the gun a little too soon? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly.